All right, let's uh, let's lighten it up a little bit. Let's uh, let's end on higher notes. So, let's do it. Um, talk about uh, a Portland driver uh, who has uh, shown the money, has taken the money, and Obviously. is running with the money. Obviously, he's been vaccinated with this. So I go, Sergio, there is no way in hell. <laughs> I like these emails. When I get these, I know it's going good. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm going to win the contest for the most chips. Ah, you know, oh, yeah, no, you didn't because we extended it. You have another chance, okay? Um, for most chips well, for definitely. free phone holder, but perhaps I can win the highest average fare. I'm like, man, look at that. Seven rides, 450 bucks. What is that, Chris? Is that like uh, almost 70 bucks a trip? Boom. That's a lot. Boom. That's a lot right there. <laughs> I, and, and this is all standard. I confirmed. It's all standard, by the way. So no locks, nothing like that. But he has a reason for it. He goes, he goes um, Portland and Vancouver got hit with a surprise winter storm. Surge was bonkers. And I was able to cherry pick Jeff... <laughs> <laughs> my way to the and I know I, I know Sunshine Man is is in the chat. I saw him. <laughs> oh, I know he's yeah. <laughs> Cherry pick my way to the bank. And even though I got stuck twice and had to bail my way out of the snow and ice, hey, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Sometimes money is worth it. Still made it home safely without a scratch. Great. Anyway, I hope you're making tons of money. Well, this week, yes, Lyft exactly gave me something that I made good money on. Much love. Show me the money. There you go, my man. Here are the screenshots. Had some generous tippers that rewarded me, including one who I carried her luggage on my head like a basket of rice in the village. Ha, ha, ha. I'm like, I'm like okay. So these were all standard Lyft trips, no lux, etc. I also sent you a screenshot of my last chip of the day. After I got unstuck again, which was particularly fruitful, please let me know if there is anything I can do to help to grow the channel. I said, your brother on wheels. Yes, you are my brother on wheels. You've been vaccinated. You have graduated. You're an honorary member. Look at these chips, Chris. Look at the surge, baby. Look at the surge. Look at that. Thir well, look at that first one, though. He's got a $30 tip and then a $26.75 ride bonus, $22. I sent right I bonus. Seventy dollars a trip, baby, and then yeah. and then and then there were like couple. Do you see the on the right screenshot? Did you see those the, the bottom one? Fifty dollars surge. $50 right bonus. Yep. Well, if you look at whole that whole one that those you got the forty four twenty five ride bonus underneath yes, that sir. you got another ride bonus of thirty nine twenty five. Yes, you sir. got a street bonus with eighteen. You got another ride bonus of fifty with twenty dollar and sixty four dollar or sixty four cent tip. Is this perfection so, or yeah. what? Is this perfection? That is, that's perfection. The that's only perfection. thing though is, Jeff, are you watching this, Jeff? Is, if you if were stuck in this driving. snowstorm, Jeff, you would have accepted every goddamn trip, Jeff, and you would have made maybe a quarter of what this guy made. There you go. So, yep. boom, right there. This is how you do it, people. Snowstorm so that, and all. That is, a, that is a good one. But, I mean, obviously, for those who may not want to drive uh, in that snow uh, or ice, that is one thing. But for those who want to go out and make that money, you absolutely can. Bob, thanks for the five dollar super chat. Thank you, thank you. Uh, also, professor, let me also. know. Professor, let me know. He would love to do a math. He professor can speak for himself. I'm gonna see the professor on Friday. He said he'll be there, so he's not gonna disappoint me, I'm sure. And and Bob, if you're in LA, please show up. We all will take pictures <laughs> and eat some good food. Mm -hmm. Um, so this guy, congrats. Now, if he did not cherry pick, you think he would have gotten this? Um, even in the, even, not even, as much. No, no I mean, you know, much. honestly, I, honestly, I don't know because I don't know the situation. I mean, obviously, let me, something. Let me tell there. you why he would not have. Okay, let me tell you why he would not have yeah, done. But, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish what I'm saying before before okay. you interrupt me. Um, what I'm saying is, I don't know what the surge was looking like in that area that he was driving, where the rides were coming in. So there, there's a lot more than just a surface level question on if he could have made that. Um, I don't know what things were looking like in that particular area, so I can't really comment uh, how it would look if he would have accepted everything versus, uh, you know, not. And honestly, if you accept everything, you're not going to make as much as a cherry picker. I mean, it's been proven point time and again uh, by many different standards, by many different ways. Uh, so I'm just going to go in the 
camp that says if he would have cherry picked, he was going to see days like that. If he doesn't cherry pick and accepts everything, he's going to see a much different number. That's going to be okay, lower. I'm going to just I'm going to rebut you with just middle screenshot. Okay. Now he has the surge. Let's say the sticky is sticking around. He's getting the 44 bonus, 40, 50, 40, 50, right? But with the 40, 50, he passed on, I'm sure, a couple that were 15 miles and 45 minutes, right? That's the cherry picking part I'm talking about. Because when the sticky is on you and they're giving you $40 bonus, now you got to take it to the next level of cherry picking. What type of trip do I want to do with that 44 so I can get another 44 in my bag? Look what he did on that trip. 2.77 miles, 10 minutes and 41 seconds. Now, if you were accepting everything, Lyft may have thrown you something that's 27.7 miles and an hour and a half, and you're just done with that single trip. You know what I'm saying? Versus this guy did a shorty, another shorty, another shorty, banged the crap out of it. Congrats. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. So, uh, yeah, definitely yes, awesome to yes, there. Anybody, anybody who's got some other screenshots like that, let us yeah, know. It, uh, send send show. Any other degrees. If you have complaints, send it to the complaint department at Sergio at the right Sergio at the right All, All right. Good. So let's move on. Um, these screenshots here. If you want to talk about what this is. Okay, I'm going to talk about this and Chris is going to do the, he's not going to do the voiceover. He's just going to read the whole damn thing. Um, yeah. Okay. So my wife dabbles into hello wife, uh, jazz, call her jazz. Um, she dabbles into a little Uber Eats, you know, because I'm trying to teach her <laughs> the proper way. <laughs> so, okay, let me tell you, two days ago, Saturday, torrential rain, I'm talking tropical storm kind of rain, okay? Freezing cold, right? Okay. So she not only the Uber Eats, DoorDash, and all the other stuff, the multi-apping, you know, dirty apping, all that good stuff that I taught her, <laughs> But what she also does, started doing, which after listening to the Uber and uh, DoorDash's conference call, I suggest everybody do, go get your red card on uh, DoorDash and go get your Uber debit card, not the Uber Pro debit card, Uber debit card so you can do shop and pay, okay? Because they're going into those vertical, these companies, the base rates on these things are through the damn roof. So they're paying a lot more. So they'll probably do it just like, you know, you know, the reinforcement, positive reinforcement. They'll do it for a few months and then they'll start, you know, taking it out. But while the game is hot, you got to hit it, right? So there is a good one. That, well, they're both kind of average on the best. So the one on the left, so she it was two item shopping, two miles, and the trip came in at 1307 in that range. So she went and picked those two items, delivered, dropped at the door. So this is the problem, which we're going to talk to the head of Uber Eats on Friday. There is a thing called tip baiting in our world of deliveries. DoorDash doesn't do this. Grubhub doesn't do this. But Uber somehow gives the customer one hour to change their mind and take their tip back. So basically, if it's food, they ate it. They went to the bathroom. And then they go, eh, I'm, I'm going to take the tip back. I'm like, that's not cool. That's if you're not gonna tip, just don't tip from the get-go. But don't put the tip in there and take it out. So, as you guys can see in the gray box under 558, it says the estimate for this trip was 1307. Now, I told my wife, if you see two miles, 13 bucks, 20 minutes, take it because that's seven dollars and six and a half dollars a mile, right? Chris, you would take that order all day long. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, right? You're not seeing anybody, you go to the store, buy the couple of items. She said it was two items. So one hour later, this screenshot comes in, and she goes, what happened here? I go, I go, you got tip baited. <laughs> it was her first experience. And she goes, F this, F that. That's not right. This is not going to happen again. I go, you can call over support. <laughs> Try to get your money back. She goes, bullshit. Yeah, that's her words, not mine. Bullshit, she goes. They shouldn't be allowed to have an hour to take their tip back. I kind of agree 100% with her, okay? I mean, yep. this is a shop and pay. This wasn't even food. It was a shop and pay. And sure enough, the Grinch over there who ordered the items took her tip out. And I'm like, she goes, I know where they live. And they're down the street. I go, you're not going to do anything stupid. I go, it's just six bucks. Don't worry about it. You'll get a good one. So the same night, she gets another shop and pay. Now, this is the one that's going to floor you, Chris, okay? 
You know, we talked about me not getting my Quest money. Yeah. Okay? All right. So my wife has the Uber Pro on her iPhone. You know, I pay, right? It's all attached. Yep. So she goes to a market that she does not know. She got a, you know, um, uh, shop and pay. The order came in at 33.09, ended up paying her 40 bucks, right? Look at the time though, 8.7 miles. Miles is not the deal. Two hours it took her from acceptance to finishing. Why? One, the store she went to, the supermarket, she had no idea where what was. Okay, no problem. She'll learn. The second problem was there were a lot of missing items at the supermarket. So now she had to contact the customer. Customer go replace this with this, replace that with that, replace this with this. So she spent two hours doing it, got paid 40 bucks at the end. Okay. But the kicker of this is, you guys remember the start of the show? They didn't pay me my $50 quest after I finished the job, right? All right. She goes to the cashier, check out, puts the Apple iPay onto the machine, rejected. She has the, all the shit in there. There's like 55 items in there. She communicating with the customer. Obviously, that's why the customer tipped her even more after the order. It was 33. She ended up making 40, right? So long story short, she tries it again. Nothing. Now she's stuck. People are behind her waiting. You know, her her Uber card in her iPay is not working. It's getting declined. There's not enough money, I guess, in there, Chris. Figure this out now. Look what's coming now. Mm. She calls Uber support. Uber support says, you can cancel. We'll pay you $4. She goes, what God. the hell? She goes, I spent two hours shopping. Everything is in my card. Your card is not working. She goes, well, what happens is that there are glitches that when there are a lot of items replaced, we think it's fraud. That's why it's declining. But if you don't, if you want to cancel, you can cancel. She goes, after two hours, I'm going to cancel and make four bucks. And then Uber support says to her, which I flipped when she said that to me. She goes, well, she goes, what you can do is you can use your own credit card or debit card, pay for it, and we'll pay you back. Guess what my wife did? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see where this is going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the bill, bro. Look at the bill. She paid yeah. $162 out of her pocket for somebody's groceries. Because wow. over support said, we'll pay you back. Well, guess what? What's today, Chris? She hasn't gotten paid, she hasn't gotten paid yet. Oh my God! There you go. So between in this, in this family, <laughs> in this family, on Friday. in this family, hundred and sixty-two plus fifty, two hundred and twelve dollars is being floated for the last three days by Uber. <laughs> I'm like, Oof. she hasn't, she hasn't. So I go, did you call support? She goes, yeah. But she goes, I felt bad for the customer. Jeff, are you listening to this, Jeff? She even <laughs> paid hundred and sixty-two bucks of her good earned money. Now she's waiting for Uber to pay her back. I'm going like, okay, and this is the support. You take this over because my voice is gone. Why did she okay. do that? Great question, Jason. I told her the same thing. I go, screw <laughs> the customer in this one. I mean, if it was like 10, 20 bucks, I go, yeah, $162 worth of groceries. She pays for it like it's her mother, and she walks out. I'm going like, no. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I, I don't pay. I wouldn't pay for anything. Yeah, but you, have, you understand her if, dilemma. If, I was, if I'm going to get a percentage increase because I have to, you know, it's coming out of my account. Like if they want to pay me five percent more because I had to put it on my card, that's a different story. Because at least then I'm getting paid no, no. for it and I'm getting compensated. Well, but um, you understand but, her dilemma though. She has done the shopping, yeah. spent two hours already, replaced oh, everything, yeah, I know. That, everything and now Uber says we're only going to pay you four dollars cancellation fee. Yeah, that's why you're you're up shit's creek so, without a paddle. So, on this so one. her thing, her thing, her thing was like, okay, I'm gonna pay 162 out of pocket. I'm gonna trust it, and it was Uber support. She called Uber support. They didn't call her. She has, you know, she has. You guys will read in the emails. Um, but she thought, okay, 40 bucks. I'm gonna make 162, even if I don't get paid. At least I'm gonna get 40 bucks. But I'm down only 122. After Uber support confirmed that she is gonna get paid. Well, today is Tuesday. She hasn't gotten paid yet. So there you go. There's the support. Go ahead. All right. I had a shopping pay order, and the Uber Apple Pay did not go through. Three times it was declined, so I had to pay for the order myself, $162. I attached the receipt and delivered the items to the customer. When, I, when will I get paid for the monies? Uh, the Uber representative said, go ahead and pay for it and forward us that meaning that Uber, the receipt, which I did 
I need to know when I will get reimbursed for this large sum of money. It's raining and extremely. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it, but it, it, it goes. Weather. Yeah, yeah, bad weather. Uh, you reach priority support. I'm a clava, uh, <laughs> clava, and I'm going to get this taken care of. Uh, d- hold on, before I go on, does anybody want politically correctness, or or can no. I not be? Politi- can no. I be politically incorrect? <laughs> <laughs> we are sorry to hear about the issue for your reimbursement. We are here to provide clarification for these. Uh, so you could you could see your reimbursement reflected in the app driver app in 24 to 48 hours. Reimbursements could take between 24 and 48 hours to process. So right there, they're saying between um, one day and two days, four days. No, because you, they're saying uh, you could see the reimbursement reflected in the app between oh, that time. Okay. And then you're saying it could take uh, it, it could take that amount of time on top of it to process. I guess so my wife has not been de- vaccinated with this yet. <laughs> That's yeah. the problem. Right? Uh, but it's important that you are paid correctly and the consumer yeah. is charged correctly. So we appreciate yeah. your patience as the reimbursement is processed. The actual reimbursement will be added to your weekly payment statement. If you wish nope. to get reimbursed right away, you can choose to use Instant Pay to cash out your reimbursement immediately from the weekly payment by adding your debit card to the to the app. If you still don't see your reimbursement reflected in the driver app after 48 hours, please reach back out. We're happy to assist you. We really appreciate your patience and understanding the matter. Providing a reliable way to make money is something we take very seriously. Thank you for mm-hmm. working with Uber. Have a nice day. Mm-hmm. And this is, just to put this in perspective, this is on 224 at 1015 is when the texts had gone through that your wife had sent. And I don't know the time frame on when they got back to you, but I'm assuming probably within an hour or so. Um, so either way, this is 224. It is now 228, not getting paid. Uh, and then uh, the final trip uh, tick there says uh, yeah. you will receive 162 for the order number, whatever it is. Yeah. So she has all uh, this, right? So we're, we're going to. This is still three days ago at this point. And uh, there's Tuesday been no morning. Order. Tuesday. It was not in her statement. I asked this morning. She goes, nope, they didn't pay me yet. I go, guess what? So remember I told you to get my quest money and her 162? Five to seven. Mm-hmm. I have like two hours. Yeah, it's gonna be fun because we're we're double double teaming on this one. But then I'm not gonna let her speak. I'm gonna go. Let's go because it's gonna be. I'm actually <laughs> record this. Year. It's gonna be funny. Yeah. So um, either yeah. way, I yeah. think the moral of the story comes down to no good deed goes unpunished. Use your cash to pay for the the order uh, in the event that the card is not working, or would you uh, not? Hell uh, no. So. $70 billion company, card gets declined three times. Yes, Dara, three times. And my wife is at 162. So you know. Mm-hmm. You know we're coming. So you know. But anyway. <laughs> so let's go. And to I, the like I, char- I charge 10% interest daily, compounded daily. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You, yeah. you agree to my terms at this point now. Yeah, that's my terms of service. I just pay 162 <laughs> for your groceries. <laughs> pay them. Oh, yeah. that's my wife. She's nice. She's nice. She's a nice woman. But, you know, and she's street smart on this one. I go, why didn't you call me in the middle of this? She, she goes, I don't know. She goes, I was all flustered. Couldn't find anything. All these things got replaced. I'm calling to Uber. Manager is talking. This, I'm... I go, listen, worst comes to worst. Never, ever put money out of your pocket. <laughs> I like Norma's. Uh, what's the over under on how many times it's going to be transferred to a specialized team? Three. I Let's say three. 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 Was, that's not three. That's, there you go. We put it together right there. That's the, so, that's the agreement. And then we'll Mustafa, to look at Mustafa. No, Let's they wouldn't pay. Mustafa, <laughs> Mustafa said 162 plus 1099 income. We don't pay in town taxes, Mustafa. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, um, so next, and then we have two funnies. So let's finish the funnies. All right. So let's get into the comments. Okay, so I'm gonna do, do the left the and you do the right. Wait, what? I'm gonna do the left one, which is the one in the middle, and then you okay. do the right one. Okay. All right, gotcha. Okay, so once in a while, okay, once in a while. Actually, no, you do the middle, I do the right one, or you do both. I don't oh, know. okay, all right. Oh, you do both. You're better at this. So, okay, once in a while, we we'll get passengers sneaking into our videos. <laughs> Let them. And they Let leave em. comments. They leave comments disrespecting my brothers and sisters <laughs> who are drivers who are the greatest people on the planet right i usually let them slide i go you're a troll get lost but this one <laughs> i couldn't stop myself so i go 
Boom. There you go, Chris. It's all yours, my man. All right. Big mommy. Why yeah. all you drivers bitching all the time? You work for a driving service. Bring me my damn destination. And it better be quick or I'm giving your ass a one star and a customer service complaint. And I might even say my driver didn't pick me up. Problem. Your phone is tracked with GPS just like drivers. So you could try pulling can that say, shit. Can I say but, jackass at this moment? Can I say jackass? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, jackass. And, and, on top of that, and on top of that, your driver probably will have a dash camera. So yeah. try pulling that shit. Go ahead. And uh, where was that? Look at this. And that's with no tip to start with. All you're doing is driving. So I I'd love to know what your passenger rating is because I bet it's probably not that high. Yeah. Uh, how hard could it be? Bunch of little bitches. JK. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. you can read your your comment. <laughs> I read my own comment. Yeah, I I go. Obviously, you have no idea what you're talking about. We don't work for a driving service. We're IC driving our private car, so we are not your chauffeur, and we're it's not your limo. Furthermore, if you knew how Uber rips into you <laughs> <laughs> when they charge you, and what percentage of that goes to the driver, you may not be this ignorant. There is always public transportation, honey. <laughs> There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, free. Okay, the next one floored me. This was like an, uh, in a video, I think, last week. And I go, like, we'll have to put this up and finish with a bang. Oh, this was on the, the cash. This is on the cash uh, one. Oh, uh, cash one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's all your. There you go. They're both, oh, okay. They're both his. So, <laughs> like, okay. If you want to live, do not accept cash, especially at night. Money card hidden in the car somewhere in your ID in your pocket. And for those robbers out there, be careful. Some of us are great at close quarters combat. And no, uh, oh, no, and are not opposed to mutually assured destruction. You make <laughs> that, eat your, own eat, blah, blah, eat your own gun, kiss a telephone pole with me, or catch an edge weapon. If you get in my car, enjoy the ride. My current rating is 4.96 with thousands and thousands of rides. So your one star review will not affect my ratings, and will keep uh, and will keep you away from my other fellow drivers. And before you get too mad at me, I did have to explain this to three dudes who decided to ask me what would happen if they attacked me mid ride. Needless to say, the rest of the ride was quiet, and they gave me five stars. <laughs> I'm that godless heathen. You're a five star driver. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's a like perfect New Yorker right there, bro. There you go. It's like, oh no, if you want me to do New York, I, I, I mean, if you New want me to start doing New York, I'll start right New York. What's up? I get the I go I go New York on your ass. Yeah, I'm, I'll turn. I do. I love that part where it says, <laughs> "I am not opposed to mutually <laughs> mutually yeah. destroying the world, <laughs> mutual <laughs> destruction, baby." Yeah. Oh, look at sunshine, man. Hold on. If they don't pay it, I'll write your wife a check, but it's only for her to spend. What do you think? I'm going to take her money? You think I take her money? <laughs> huh, Jeff? No. No, I, I'm, I'm, I, this is all going to be resolved in the next two hours when I get off the live stream. Yeah, it's going to be a fun call to Philippines. So I'm coming. Yeah, don't don't worry. He, he's going to get the money, Jeff. But that, you know, Jeff, 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 Jeff is $12. Huh? $112 of our family's money is laying in the Uber bank. <laughs> oh, getting, yeah. getting charged some interest too, on top of that. Four so, days. Oof. All right. Thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you will be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.